And guess what? It is tomorrow, also known as I Can't Spell, also known as 30 seconds from when I... Uh, 30 seconds? It was like 5 seconds. It was as fast as I could hit stop recording and start recording. Um, since uh, pop-up fought red. So this time I was a bit more awake. Um, still hadn't bothered practicing. Like most of my experience comes from watching and casting these battles. Um, so when I say do as I maybe say, not as I do, like literally it's because I don't, I don't. Uh, I, there is no do for me generally. Uh, and you probably shouldn't be doing what I say most of the time anyways. Um, you know, we will watch this battle from the side of Kislev. The Warsuds did get a nerf on, I believe, their impact damage. Um, War Bears, I think... Uh, Streltsy got a buff. Uh, Griffin Legion got a defensive buff, from my understanding. Um, so I am sending. Why? If I, I'm supposed to be watching from this side. Uh, so Blanesh is sending all their infantry forces over this way. See the the war sets coming in, and I real <laughs> like I know what's coming. Um. I'll watch it from this side, but because I know how this battle goes, because I, I, I lived it, I commanded it. This is one of the few where I, I did do something. Um, I know what I'm going to do. These war suds are just going to take a toll on me. I, I handle them horribly. These my, my spears need to stop moving. Instead, my spears are charging in. The other ones are going over to this point, though, because I'm thinking either I can wrap around... Or, like, I can do something. I am bringing over the Seekers to help pin these sleds in place. Uh, my, this infantry is going this way because I'm just like, okay, maybe, like, I just need to pin them in for a little while. Obviously, it's not very good. Um, my my uh, goon lord squad is also heading this way. I think I break off, yeah, one, one Seeker comes down and around because I, I get the direction these things are going. We have armored kosars, armored kosars with great weapons, more armored kosars, heavy war sets. I like, like I get the idea of making your front line armored kosars. Um, don't know what he brings in for reinforcements. I kind of forget. I just kind of respond as I see things. Um, but I have semi cornered these war sets. I do realize I'm going to take a hit from these war bears because there's no way these seekers are going to get away from the war bears uh that is why i believe i bring bring this infantry around um but i commit a lot to this but yep war suds rock i hold them in place i do my summon because it's like okay if i'm sacrificing my cultists to hold these war bear riders in place bringing in some demonettes not not such a bad life So we're just going to go fully commit. Let's see if we can't take out the war bear. Uh, the Tsarina is over here. Um, I know what kind of spell is coming. He is holding a lot of his forces here. Some of his forces here. I do think a lot of this should be... Ro like, Krom should be bringing these forces over. At least just repositioning them. Like over here to shoot in. Um, so Heart of Winter goes down. Is going to just wreck... But this is my, my leader squad. Uh, summon unit of harpies are going to have no idea where they're going. I, I send them all over the place because I about dive them into this heart of winter. And then I realize I don't need more of that. One of your units has been destroyed. So my infantry corps is pr pretty much dead right now. I have these marauders, which are still okay. These spearmen, which are at about half health. I'm trying to hunt down the Tsarina. Um... Yeah, these marauders with hell scourges are just completely dead um i realized this unit of uh spears will let me at least capture this point 
Hint, I am saving up resources that, uh, not on purpose. So here comes the army. I bring out my soul grinder. I bring out the, uh, my regiment of renown. And I bring out some, uh, Slanesh specific furies. Because the ones that my lord summons don't, are not Slanesh specific. So, uh, it's coming back around to bring in these heavy war sleds. Um, I just decide, okay, he, if he's just gonna stand there, like, I need to, I need to hit him. I have new infantry units coming back in. A lot of my infantry re, uh, decided to come back. Maybe didn't need to charge these furies in like this. They're just kind of getting destroyed. Sars with spears and armored Kassars. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm not paying attention. I am paying attention to that uh, over there. Because this also needs to just be in here. So big mismanagement point there. Um, let's see. I do, like, his mismanagement point, though, is letting me get the second unit of war sleds. Um, the hell scourges, my Allurus, and my general, and my cultists. Everybody is here. We are just... And none of these, like, I guess, two units responded. But, like, move your Corsairs over here. Move them up here. Um, like, do something with all of this. Uh, none of these units are leaving now. Uh, the Bringers of Belliger Belligerent... Beguilement. There we go. That's the word. Uh, are just going to keep everything here rampaging. I have Seekers coming over. I have Hellstriders coming over. Um... This unit of Kassars is just, like, can shoot in the back here. That's going to do some damage. But that is the least of my fears. Uh, there's another heavy war side coming over. General squad coming over this way. Um, like, this unit could probably come through and run through here, especially if you brought your general. If I'm committing so much over here, you could leave a couple units here and roll the rest through, kill my general, kill my, my basically, my command squad and take point three. And it's still going to take me a while to take out point one. Uh, instead, I just skipped this whole battle, went into the Kassars. Uh, well, it, actually, it looks like I, <laughs> the bringers of beguilement just left. Uh, the Hellstriders just held here with the uh, Soul Grinder. I captured point one, so now I have point one and point three. There is a huge army sitting here in the middle. Slowly, units are being stripped away from this huge army in the middle um where is it though here it is this biggest mistake prom diner's biggest mistake charge his leadership into the bringers of beguilement and immediately katarina's uh i i missed it somewhere else she had gotten another heart of winter i believe she's not going anywhere now seekers coming into the back like, I see this whole huge thing, nothing leaving. It's like, oh, Soul Grinders, you can go over here. <laughs> These Hell Shredders will go ahead and take on Armored Kassars with Spears. Especially when I have Heart Seekers just about to come in. Like, this is just too juicy of a target. My Bringers of Beguilement, let's see, what are they at right now? 117, they have just, they're barely going to pay for themselves. But they paid for themselves in locking this leader in place. There is no gold that's not worth that. This was stupid on my part. I basically sacrificed my whole leadership here. I was going to push to center, and I just stopped paying attention. Um, so they got picked off by units that neither one of us are paying attention to. But all the more reason. It's like, all these units are just sitting here. Push them over this way. Like, there's literally nothing over there now. Hell Shredders are running away from those armored Kassars. They lost. Uh, these are the heart seekers that are going to start just bouncing around here and without being able to hold me in place every time the heart seekers hit a flank or anything like that not just not paying attention these Kassars are looking the wrong way furies are coming in um, the micro is being dropped right now all of our uh, like he's probably trying to focus things out of here the bringers of beguilement are somehow still here they're now up to 1600 value they have definitely paid for themselves an actual gold my soul grinder, I don't have healing, and it is up to 1400, but it is paid for itself because it is what is holding this whole flank together. Um, it can tear through everything over here. Uh, 
these heart seekers will especially with the combination of the the f uh furies and then the marauders coming in they're gonna be able to take out everything here uh th this will break eventually this will break eventually we're just waiting for that 20 second proc or whatever it is the bringers of beguilement and the soul grinder are just holding off war bears and kassars and i think this is the end of the bringers 118 kills 2000 in value before they finally go down and we still have four units sitting here like yeah they're beat up a little bit and stuff but literally i have one unit of marauders here uh they're gonna get crushed crushed by this griffin legion but you know what else they could have been crushed by this <laughs> unit of armored kassars with great weapons that could have also crushed them so i am now going to summon some spawn to head down this way because why not like so I have Heart Seekers, I have um, Marauders with Spears, I have Marauders with Hell Scourges. The, the Heart Seekers are just going to come over here and just start helping break units. Because my Soul Grinder is finally starting to go down to the bears. Uh, 1700 value because you just kill like Katarina and like two bears and you've like a Soul Grinder has gotten close to paying for itself. So, um, obviously all that damage was not caused all of Katarina's damage was not caused by the Soul Grinder, but just holding it in place with the Bringers. But now, in here, these units that are all breaking with Heart Seekers in here, with the Soul Grinder, with its Musk, uh, and then now we're going to have Spears in here. Um, it, we're just, once again, waiting for Prox to end, so Kislev runs away. And once again, there's a giant contingent of Kislev units in the center that I am just not paying attention to. So, like, I know the regular Kassars, this is what, three, uh, no. This is what, like, three, four hundred points? And I think these are like six hundred each? So that's eighteen, that's like two thousand gold in value that's not really doing anything. Um, I did get the, the spawn in here in time to contend with the, uh, Griffin Legion. Um... Looks like they're still trying to chase off my Marauders. But with the spawn here, even Kassars with Spears aren't going to be able to push these off. I have another unit of Seekers coming in here. You're not you're not capturing that point from me. These units still aren't moving. Um, yeah, my, my Soul Grinder is just finishing off your flank. Uh, we have Zargard coming in. Way too late for Zargard. Like, I just go and hit... Realize that the uh, Griffin Legion aren't going anywhere against the Seekers. Like, let's let's just walk away. Let's go finish these off. We'll we'll, we'll regroup. So we got the uh, the Griffin Legion procked. We have some dervishes coming in, which aren't going to do anything. Uh, my I see that, and I'm like, ah, my Hell Shredders. This is perfect for them. Um, even this unit is perfect for them. He's finally peeled off one of the four units here. Send a second one over. <laughs> like, if you lose this point at at this point in the game, like, wh what do you have to lose? Like, you're 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 now behind. You need to capture a point. But yeah, like I thought, dervishes versus the uh, hell shiders with spears. Like, it just wasn't gonna happen. But now that this army has literally walked through this, I'm going to just kind of start coming down the backside and finish off the units that, for the entire game, I basically ignored. I have another unit of Seekers coming in on these armored Kassars. Um, they, uh, I don't think I ended up flanking them. Does it, does it say on their leadership? Ah, I did get the flank on them. So I, that that was caused by dev, devastating flankers. Still, um, heart seekers coming in and just hitting the back. Like that actually didn't do too much damage, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, this point, uh, prom diners uh, like not being able to fight for any points. I'm now starting to capture point three. We're at forty seven hundred value, and I think it's exclusively same thing that kind of Squid did when he was up here. He had four units that have range. Not great range, but range. And could have at least assisted in any of these battles. He could have built onion layers here. 
Uh, he could have bu built layers here, just shooting in this way. He did have units here, but they just walked out and they'd get wrapped. Um, like, just just have them at the edge of your deployment. What, what? Like, there was, like, none of this ammo was utilized, which means these units were never really utilized. Um, and that's what really allowed me to win, because my micro wasn't great. We saw, like, my, my whole leadership died because I sent them this way and then forgot about them. And then my battle over here where all of my units just stopped right in front of the point. Um, that wasn't very bright of me. But that is, uh, what, week three now? Yeah, I think week three. That could be week four. Um, but until next week, see you guys later.